Today we have a very special episode. We're not going to restore a car, a die-cast car. We're going to do a plane. So this is a Matchbox Skybuster A10 Thunderbolt 2, a.k.a. the Warthog, which has been one of my favorite airplanes um, for a long time. You know, I was a little kid, I had favorite airplanes, but in real life they look they look mean, they look out of date, they look old, they look whatever, but really it's just that they're they're just so well built. And they're they're not built to be fast, they're not built for whatever, they're built for, you know, sneaking attacks and get it done and the dirty work. Um, and these things, you know, I'm not a military guy, I'm not a military buff, I can't lie to you like that, but I think the A ten is uh, a damn fine aircraft. They just, I mean, it, look at it. Look at it. So today we're going to paint it gray the way that more more current A-10s are painted. Um, this, this one came as a green one, and it's got some goofy tampos on the wings and stuff. Otherwise, you know, it looks all right. And it hung from the lights in my classroom because I'm a math teacher uh, until we were told to take things out. You know, apparently it's a fire hazard to have a... Have this hanging from the lights and you know not to be sarcastic or argue i just took it down and took it apart and we're gonna we're gonna not only restore it but you know make it look <sighs> upgraded i guess a little bit gonna clean it up a little bit and make it look as nice as we can as realistic i guess as a, a matchbox sky buster can um a lot of it's plastic. The only thing that's metal is the fuselage. So this is a caustic soda solution that I'm kind of trying to strip off these wings in. I'd never done a piece of plastic in the lie before. So I was, you can see, I just played with it the whole time because I was worried that I would, you know, melt the plastic or something. Um, I'm not a chemist. I can't lie to you. So there's other cars in there. Um, so you can see the yellow paint is actually from two other cars that were yellow. It's not from the wings. And I'm just using the kind of rubber glove, I guess, and trying to scrape it off. You know, not pressing too hard because you bust through the glove doing that. But um, here's the fuselage. And this paint that they used <laughs> was good paint because it sat in the boiling uh, caustic soda solution for... Um, quite some time and it took me a long time to get this paint off i think i even paint stripped it twice um because it just you know i usually don't have to scrape them like that here's two other cars i did where the, the paint came off a little easier um yeah those cars off to the side that's a sneak peek at some other stuff we're gonna do soon <laughs> but um uh, yeah the, the paint on the wings did not want to come off. The paint on the body did not want to come off. Um, this footage, I think, is older than the other footage. I don't know. I filmed a lot. I filmed a lot when I was doing this because it was, like I said, it was the first time I'd done a, a plastic piece in the soda. So I wanted to document it, um, whether it went well or whether it went poorly. <laughs> so, and... Yeah, see how boring it is. It's not boring because it's like a caustic chemical. <laughs> so here's the uh, the wing unit after I had um, the base, after I had uh, done it. Here's the, the fuselage. I drilled a little hole in it and put a little eye hook on it so we can hang it. Um, you can see the tail fin there. We're going to paint. We're going to, uh, oh, there it is when it's already primered and put back in place. The, uh, the gun on the front was primered. I put tape on the inside. So that I could use some Tamiya putty on the outside to fill in the holes where the wheels used to be. I had pulled the wheels off a long time ago. I just busted them off because, like I said, it hung from the lights in my classroom. And um, it didn't need wheels. And the wheels looked cheesy on Skybusters. So, um, again, this was something that had been, you know, the paint was in good condition. But I beat the BGs out of it. So it's a little out of order because you already saw the tail fin primered. Um in a picture a minute ago well i don't know 25 seconds ago but we're uh priming all the little pieces there's a little uh i think it's a little yeah a little front gun i should have just painted it black because i think i ended up painting it black anyway or or dark darker gray but um 
I actually only used primer gray on this thing because this is the first die cast model that I'm going to attempt to weather. And not only is it my first airplane, um, yeah, so here we are. We filled in some of the casting, the bumps on the, on the, on the I think those are fuel tanks. And they're, they're casted, they're, they're like hollow, and so we put some uh, putty in there to fill them in. Um, again, just trying to make it look oh so slightly more realistic. You know, you're never going to, this is not going to be a, you do like a, a model kit, like a plastic model kit, and you can make them look way better. But I just want these little ones. These little ones are <sighs> soothing for me to fix. I enjoy doing it. So here we are filling in more uh, dead space that doesn't need to be there. And you can see where I'd filled in the wheels, uh, the wheel holes. And I like the end result. The end result ended up looking all right. So I can't say that it's bad. The underside of the engines was also hollow. So I filled that in too. Um, and it, you know, it didn't really look perfect because it's the underside of it. And it also doesn't need to look perfect because you know, we're going to weather it. It's going to be an airplane that's, you know, been out. I'm sure they wash them. I'm sure the military washes their planes. But, you know, they get dirty because they fly them. These, these airplanes in particular can fly in most conditions because they're, like I said, they're pretty well built. Um, they've been documented as being like, you know, what, what would shoot down a normal plane. <laughs> like these things will make it home more often. And, uh, yeah, I just, um, I probably would have joined the service had I been able to be a, a pilot. The problem is I have terrible eyesight, so got to have glasses, you know, don't have 20, 20 vision, sir. Here we are getting it more and more and more put together every minute. Got all the parts kind of in place. Um, I was only going to use one screw because it actually had like these four rivets. But I was only going to put one of them back in place as a screw. Uh, but then when I found when I'm putting it back together here, that it, you know, the, the tail end of it didn't want to kind of stay closed. So I ended up using a second, tapping a second screw into it. So my finished one here, you can see, has two screws and we're constantly constantly um plugging it and filling it here's the the wash that i used um i used a, a dark gray one even though it's a light gray plane i brushed it on with a just a modeling brush and um being that primer is a flat paint it didn't go on as perfectly as it could have but we weathered it pretty well um, I kind of like the effect. I think it, it turned out well. Here I am um, painting the little missiles that are underneath it. I had already painted two of them, I think, flat black, and I'm painting two of them olive drab. Um, and that, again, is just to add just a little bit more detail to it because, you know, why not? Man, I should have sped that up more. Paint and stuff green. And I had painted the inside of the turbo fans uh, flat black as well. And the backside, the engine exhaust, flat black. Um, here we are. <clears throat> the real deal. Looking clean, but, you know, flying over the air. I, I just I think it's a beautiful plane. I still do. I you know it's it's very classic looking, yet very modern looking. Here we are going to put the uh, I painted the the interior the uh, cockpit black, so that when you see it through, um, it just wouldn't be the same color as the rest of the body. the The window unit is tinted gray. Um, we got a little bit more heavy on some parts of it and then a little bit less heavy on other parts of it with the wash. And then I clear coated it in a dull Tamiya clear, flat clear. 
Um, and I'm happy with the result because in certain lights it's very bright gray and in other lights it's very kind of sinisterly dark gray. Um, so here's what we started with. A greenish thing here here are the the what it would look like if it was green you know when i was a kid these things were painted green and now they're painted gray and we got the final the final product hanging up